Hey, GearHeads, it's Jeff with Gear Report. Still here at the gathering 2021 at the Sawmill in Lawrence, South Carolina. We pulled another one of the PSA engineers. Colton is the lead engineer for the AK platforms. That's right. He's brought a couple examples. He's going to talk about kind of the AK line in general. That's right. That's All right. right. What, what, what can you tell us? Well, guys, so out here at the gathering, we've got uh, a bunch of different variants of our AK lineup, which we are constantly expanding on. Uh, I just kind of picked two good representations here. Um, of some of our newest releases. Uh, we'll start with this guy here. This is our AK-104. It is the latest iteration in our 100 series of rifles. Uh, obviously we had our 103, it was a huge success um, back in the fall of last year and we recently released this one which is its baby brother. It carries the same pedigree as our, our lineup of AKs, fully forged internals. Right. Um, you know, and th this one here is built to be more the uh, clone correct Pistol Link 762. We have another version of a 762 pistol that we call our AKP. It's a little shorter, um, comes with a pick rail. But this one was meant to be more of the, the clone series with the you know, smooth dust cover and, and accurate dimensions and everything like that of what you would get from the 100 series in the other, in the other part of the world. Right. Uh, this version here, we have, we have four different versions of it. This version is a pistol version that comes with a pistol brace, a side folding pistol brace. We also have this same version with no pistol brace in case the customer has a different, you know, if you want to do a, a sling attachment on the rear or whatever. All right, thank you, thank you. That's pretty good. We also have this in two rifle configurations for those guys that want the traditional classic polymer side folding stock that the, the true 104s come with. It will have, we have two versions, one with a, a, a 16 inch barrel and then another with the longer uh, extended pin and welded booster can mm. to get you that 16 inches. Because a, a true 104, short length, true side folding stock, but here in the States that's an SBR. Right. So we give the customer a little option as to which features they want to keep and how they want to go about it. And it's just, it's, it's a fun gun to shoot. It is, it, it's a compact 7.62, it's a fire breather. You know, it's got a, a good little pop to it and uh, it's just a ton of fun to shoot. Next one we can talk about too is, uh, this is our GF5. So it is the fifth gen uh, AK that we have. It, it is the next iteration of our, let's say the bread and butter, the AK47 lineup. Um, this version carries, again, just like all our, our other AKs, uh, fully forged internals. This one actually comes with the upgraded 4340 aircraft quality front trunnion. Uh, and this version here is also uh, sporting a nice FN manufacturing uh, cold hammer forged chrome line barrel. Well, we have this in a bunch of different configurations. This one here has the, uh, the AR stock conversion and the extended billet handguard, but we have this in a bunch of different bunch of different flavors. We throw in a couple extra things on the GF5 too that they come, they're kind of on our enhanced models of like the GF3, GF4, they come standard on GF5, like you have your extended safety, ALG trigger, um, and it's just, uh, we're really proud of this barrel. People love this barrel, super accurate. Um, and of course, this is the only way to get an FN barrel in an AK is through Palmetto State Armory. Nice. All right. I, I laugh when you mentioned FN barrel or, earlier because it, to me, it's kind of like the joke with PSA is, you know, the pe people for years have been just fixated on FN barrel. And I know like Mark down at DC, if I were him, I'd be a little offended because he makes a freaking awesome barrel oh, yes. too. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, there are a lot of good barrel options. Yep. And you know, not to discount that, that that's you know a, a unique thing you're bringing to the table here. But Absolutely. I just find it kind of funny no, that, that's an excellent, people get fixated that's, because that's an there are a lot point. of good options. Yep, that's an excellent point. And the, we have, so this is again the GF5. The GF4 also is a cold hammer forged chrome line barrel, but it is our own in-house cold hammer forged chrome line barrel. Mm -hmm. And then back to the Gen 3, um, it has the DC machine nitrided barrel. Right. Also super, super accurate yep. and, and they hold up amazingly. So nice. as you said, a ton of great options. It kind of just depends on what flavor the customer wants. Right. Awesome. Why don't we grab these and head over to the range and do a little right. shooting. Sounds great. All right, sounds like a plan. Hey, till next time, we'll see you at the range.
maybe it. This isn't full, is it? Sir? Is this select fire? It looks like it's got the three positions. No, it has put the three positions, but it's not all, all the way. way. Okay. Just, I just want to make sure. It's made for it, but it's only yeah. two pins. There's no three pins. <laughs> right. All right. I'm all excited for a second. I just wanted to know what I was getting into. What did you bring yeah. back, Carlton? Some leftovers. Leftovers? Ah. Yeah. Okay. 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 What else you want? Uh, the, the, the jackal. So that was a G5, so 104. 104? Yeah, okay. and the jackal. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands on reviews. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the range. Thank you.